every community I've ever been in has all been the same. They want one thing. They just want the best for their kid. And if you show them that you're here for that and you listen and say, we're open to working on whatever it is you see that is counter to that, mm -hmm. they will tell us and they will do everything in their power to help. One of the things that we're really working on is increasing a student voice, student choice, as well as staff voice, staff choice, and partnering with the community to create a space where kids own. This space is um, called the Falcon's Nest. All this was created uh, by students, even from the individual artwork. This was an idea that students had. Right. The funny thing is, I was like, they don't even know, they're not going to even remember, they're not going to care. And then the day they started walking by, I was like, you know, almost started, started crying. I was just like, ugh, because they were like, oh my gosh. And they were sitting in stuff, and they were so excited. And they actually believed that the school wants to hear what they have to say. And we've got to start listening to kids. Yes. So, that yes. was exciting. Noah discovered a problem and a solution, and it's especially relevant to the times in COVID and some of the, yeah. the things we had. So I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about that. Awesome. Um, okay. I had kind of noticed that there wasn't very many people going to some of the processes we have in place, especially virtual people. So I designed kind of like a web application um, to help virtual students get Tech support. So you designed this, yes, and then you also do like the whole technical assistance on support. Yes, and the, so you're doing, okay, that's a lot of cool stuff. The thread of the direction we're going with the Falcon's Nest is, um, you know, voice, choice, engagement. Um, and so I have another example of that I'd love to show you um, with our, our science department. Um, and what's really interesting is they found a way in the hybrid model, which is virtual and in person, to create a project-based learning experiences in which the forces of motion were actually being used. And the student response that I got was, it takes a little time for us to do these projects, but we remember the learning a lot more. <laughs> That's great. I think one of the things we've been able to do this year is really think outside the box and go do things differently than we've done them in the past. So that's been an exciting kind of feature of this year for us. But trying to connect our virtual learners with our in-person kids and also give them an authentic hands-on experience where these things are going to connect in a way where they won't ever forget these, it, even if it's Newton's laws or if it's um, the uh, physics, whatever they're doing, we want them to be authentic and something they can take with them forever. So the Rube Goldberg was a great way for our virtual learners to be able to do it at home and then share that experience with the um, in-person kids as well. What extra support or things did you have to do to help get your virtual learners kind of in that place the then? The beauty about Rube Goldberg is they can use literally anything. Love so that. spoons and trash and yeah. you know paper towel rolls, that, that anything they can find in the house was could yeah. be utilized for this experiment. We paired them up with a virtual partner so that they could have an accountability partner because I think uh, a lot of times they're missing out on the social aspect of this. Yes. So we really wanted to pair them up and give them a social outlet for this as well. It's awesome. When I think about the core beliefs that um, our school board have been working on, we talk about our LISD family, and we say everybody's in our family, that's our teachers, that's our staff, that's our community, that's our students, right? And we got to see today just this great blending of how a uh, principal uh, and his administration, how his team have come together to pull out an idea into a plan. I love the whole discussion behind student voice, choice, and empowering. We are talking about that at a board level and to see what it looks like boots on the ground here helps give me more ideas and thoughts when we go back and talk in the board. What I see is with the heart of our community, with the heart of our principals behind it, um, we're innovating and we're kind of taking uh, the next step by storm. Recovery from COVID isn't recovery from COVID. It's moving forward into what learning needs to look like and can look like to make it the very best for our students.